Well, so I've been using DWM here recently and it's been awesome. I really, really like DWM. If you have been, you know, like me and using Qt, um, Qt browser, what am I talking about? Qtile, I'm, tr I'm trying to think, Qtile i3. If you're, if you're using one of those and you're maybe looking for a challenge or looking something, you know, lighter weight, DWM is absolutely fantastic. And it's probably not as difficult as you make it out to, to be, um, especially if you're like me. And I went ahead and actually just manually did my, I think I applied two patches to DWM. I know I applied the alpha patch and there's probably one other one that I did, but I manually did them just because I wanted to actually read through the source code. I sort of wanted to see what was going on in DWM and start to get a grasp of, you know, how it worked and stuff. I mean, I really liked it as well as in DWM, when it comes to your status bar here, when you first start using DWM, you won't have the date, volume, all this stuff here at the top. You'll actually just have, I think it'll say like DWM underscore the version of DWM that you're running. This is all done through a script that I made myself and you can get something like DWM blocks or DWM status, I think. And then there's a whole bunch of other ones, but really the way that you go about setting your status bar is actually just by running an X set root and just setting the name of the like Xorg window or Xorg server. I, I can't, I can't remember what you're setting. I'm not that studied up and know about it that well, but I will say, the status bar script here that I've got together, I want to rearrange it and I need to fix um, the volume here. It doesn't have a percent sign after it. So I wanted to go in change it and show you how this script works because I'm sort of starting to get into scripting. Um, DWM, uh, excuse me, D DWM, uh, DistroTube has recently been posting a whole bunch of his D menu scripts and I find them really interesting. And as someone who has also recently gotten into scripting, uh, it's great to have some, you know, someone else who's big and apparently having a whole bunch of others help him on his uh, D menu scripts. It's really awesome to be able to like read through those. So if you don't watch DistroTube or you never heard of them, which I'm a much much smaller creator. So if you're watching me, you've probably already seen distro too, but definitely go over and check out his GitLab because he has some fantastic scripts over there as well. But we'll go ahead and load up mine right here. And we're here in my scripts folder and it's just DWM status. It's nothing special. And the script itself is pretty simple and straightforward. So let me just go ahead and I'll zoom us out just a bit. So everything's neat and orderly, hopefully. Yeah, that's that's pretty readable for you guys. Um, let's see, we've just got the local time um, setting that here, volume. And really all I wanna do is go in here and just add a percent sign after this. So my volume shows up with an actual percentage at the top. And then I wanna go down here and just rearrange this X set root uh, name variable. And I'm just gonna switch around and rearrange things. All right, I think I've got this rearranged the way I want it. Um, we've got the volume over here starting it, followed by the CPU memory the amount of disk space that I have free, my battery, and then the time. It's sort of how I want it arranged. So we're gonna go ahead and save this, and then I will just run a kill all DWM status command to just stop updating and get rid of you know, that process. And then we're just gonna rerun the script and bada bing, bada boom, it's rearranged. And I think it looks almost good, almost good. I do see a problem. I do see a problem. Let's go in here and this, we need to get rid of that line right there. We don't need it because our date command here actually comes with you know, the bars to separate it itself. So then we save that, we'll do that kill all command again, and then just rerun the script. And there we go. We've got our volume, CPU, memory, free disk, battery, and the date. Looks good. And that is all the information I need. It's a very simple, straightforward script. Doesn't really use that much 
I mean, processing power. I mean, it's a very simple script. It's not much going on and you really don't need that complicated of a script anyway to get a simple status bar in D menu. And I feel like, I mean, you could add some Unicode characters in here, like give it a little bit more bling, but I do, I do genuinely like the very text like oriented nature of it. I mean, I do have the tags over here as icons. Um, thank you, um, DistroTube. Those, those icons are great. I actually copy those from his DWM config. And I, I mean, I really like them. That's sort of one of the things that I hear way too often is people just not wanting to use someone else's scripts. Like they got to do it all themselves. Like you can do plenty yourself and pull inspiration and by inspiration i mean uh that good old yoink from someone else and you know use it yourself that's sort of the great thing about free and open source software and projects you just you know you can just copy and paste no problem no problem at all so if the script helps you out at all or if it piques your interest in you know simple scripting and maybe perhaps getting into DWM yourself, let me know in the comments below if you have any recommendations for making my script better or more performant. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. But to be honest, I think this is just about all I need. I really don't need any other features to my bar or anything like that. I, I genuinely do like its simplicity. So I hope this video was helpful or inspirational to someone out there. Hopefully it comes of use. I'm trying to have some, some, you know, informative content somewhere in my videos, but if you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to see more of the videos that I make, cause I make them almost every single day and if not every day. So you should probably come around, watch them, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. Cause like maybe if you click it, YouTube will let you know when I post, maybe. Who knows? But if you also want to support my videos in a more direct way, you can go over and watch them over on Odyssey and you can tip me in LBC. It's the cryptocurrency that you get for using the platform. It's fantastic and much appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And yeah, that's right. I'm not making a Richard Stallman video, period. I'm not touching that story, topic, whole ordeal with a 10 foot pole. So get that content somewhere else.